and welcome back to this new video to Express. Today, let's dive into the world of the word processing. This is the ultimate beginner guide to the Google Docs. So let's lower everything from the basis to creating and formatting your first document. So what exactly is the Google Docs? The Google Docs is a powerful and free web-based word processor. It's part of the Google Workspace suite and allows you to create and edit text documents, format text and paragraphs, insert images, links and other elements, and collaborate with others in real time, as well as access your documents from anywhere with an internet connection. So to get started, let's take a tour of the Google Docs interface. Inside docs.google.com, I'm going to create my very first blank document. Inside here, we are now inside the editor of the Google Docs. You have seen now that we have access to the menu bar. The menu bar contains various commands and options. For example, the file, edit, view, insert, and much more. Down here, we have now the toolbar. The toolbar will provide quick access to the commonly used formatting options, such as the font, the site, bold, italics, the underline, and an icemans. Then we have the document area. This is the main space where you type and edit your document. And lastly, the page setup. The page setup understands, um, let's say, the defaults of the standard page size, but you can adjust margins, orientation in the file and look how for the option that says page setup. And you can see that we have now the page to set up. Now, let's create my first document and type some text. So creating your new document is simple. Just inside Google doc, um, inside docs.google.com, once we have created a blank document, we can start typing your text into the document area. For example, let's say, um, tag express tutorial down here, which we'll type Google docs um, walk through. Now that we have a few information here, we have the basic formatting font, size, style, and color. If I select all my uh, text into the upper side, we can change the normal text, we can change the fonts, and we can change the size. Let's change our font. I'm going to select the first one, and here into the normal text, let's say that this is the title of my document. And this Google Doc walk through is my subtitle. And down here, I can start by entering the information. This is just a test. Double click, and here is my first heading. So you can see that now into the left section, we have the document tabs. Each time I wanted to navigate to a specific element, for example, this is my first tab. We have the text press tutorials, and this is my first header, right? So we can change from bold, italics, to underline, emphasize my text if I wanted to, and change the text color if I wanted to. For example, uh, I select my text color and try to make this like this. There we go. Now, let's go some paragraph formatting. So we have the alignment. We can align your text left, center, and midline right, or justify it to fit, to fit the width of the page. For example, sending this to the right. Then we have the line spacing. We can adjust the space between lines of the text. Let's copy and paste a few elements. The text, and everything should be Comforta. There we go. But well, we have exactly the same format of them. Now I'm gonna to try to make this smaller. And there we go. Now it says tab number one, I have the text press tutorials, and I can choose an emoji for it. Let's say this one. And you can see they automatically have now deal with something uh, much more interesting. And now let's say that I want to create a new, and if I double click, normal text changes your title. Now I have two different titles. So I can change from one document tab into another. And there we go. Now we can select for insert elements like images, links, special characters, and much more. So to insert some elements, we can look out for the option that says inserts. And look how, for example, for an image. We can insert this from upload from a computer, search the web, or much more. Let's search for the web with Google Docs. So with Google Docs, we have, for example, this information. I'm going to select it and I'm going to insert it. Now, let's try to make this smaller. Once I make this smaller, I can put this into one specific side of my document and I can change the grab text or I can choose break text behind text in front and change the margin. Let's go for 180 and put it right in here. Then you can add a link. Just to select a text you wanted to link. For example, let's say that I here wanted to enter 
for more info, click here. So where it says click here, I just select click here. And into the upper side, I just typed insert linked. And here I can enter, for example, triple W, YouTube, Tech, Express. And I applied it. And now we have a new link. We can add, of course, special characters, such as going into insert, type special characters that you might be seeing here. And we can type uh, insert symbols, arrows, and so much more. Let's say, for example, this symbol automatically is going to appear in here. And there we go. And lastly, we can use bullet and numbered as I just did in here. So for that, just select one element. Let's say this specific part of the text. And into the upper side, I can change this bullet list. This is totally optional. And there we go. Just to save and name your document. Into the upper side, what it says untitled document, just type once again and automatically have a new link. To express the tutorials and automatically it's going to be saved it into my documents into my files so i'm going to hit now into share you can share and collaborate with everyone you wanted to just enter the email who you like to collaborate with but choose the option that says copy the link so anyone with a link can have access to this document and you decide if this one becomes a viewer a commenter or an editor so copy the link hit into done and share your document with others. And well, congratulations because you have now learned the basics of the Google Docs. So start creating and exploring many features as you can. It's a fantastic tool for all your writing needs. So if you find this guy helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Express. What other documents or tutorials would you like to see? You can let us know in the comments below. Thank you once again for watching the video. See you next time.